Hello, and welcome to our channel where we explore everything. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a custom chat component for AI bot using Odoo Web Framework. This is a continuation of our previous experiment with AI chatbot, and we'll be building on top of that. If you're new to Odoo Web Framework or haven't watched the previous tutorial, I recommend checking it out first so you can understand this experiment better. Let's take a look at what we need to implement for our custom chat component. The user interface has several parts, a text input field, a send button, and messages from both the AI and the user. For each message, we also need to display an avatar for both the AI and the user, the name of the user and the message itself. We'll be implementing this using Odoo Web Framework. Since our custom chat component will be used by multiple modules, AI Chat and AI Doc, we'll create a new module specifically for the chat user interface. Modules that want to use it will need to declare a dependency on this new module. Let's get started. First, we'll create a manifest file, initialize our init files, and set up our initial directory structure. To store the messages, we'll use an array and local storage. We need a way to manage these messages. For that, we'll create a new class called AI Message List. This class will provide methods to add new messages, update existing messages, remove messages, etc. If you're interested in learning about this technique, I recommend checking out the OWL tutorial on creating a to-do app on the OWL GitHub repo. Now, let's move on to implementing our custom chat component. We'll create an OWL component called AI Message, which will have several props. The name props to indicate whose message it is, assistant or user. Role props indicates what role the owner of the message is. Message props contains the message text. The avatar props contains the URL of the avatar image. And is processing props to indicate whether the message is completed or not. In the template for AI message, we'll use the tout directives to display the name and message props. We'll also use the TATTF directives to set the classes and style of the DIV elements to display the avatars and indicate the role for the message. Next, we'll create another OWL component called AI Chat. This component will manage both user and AI messages. In the setup method of AI Chat, we'll initialize the message store and add a greeting message. We'll also add event handlers for notifications to update agent messages and reset the message store. For the template, AI Chat will have an input text field and a button to facilitate users to send their messages. To display the chat messages, we'll use the message store with a T4Each directive to wrap the AI message component. Finally, we'll create an abstract component called AI Chat Container, which will hold the AI Chat component. The AI Chat Container will serve as a base for anyone who wants to use the AI Chat component. We'll declare several props that will be passed to the AI chat and also give default values to some of them for convenience. To use this component, we need to extend the AI chat container and implement the communication with the server part. As an example, let's create a dialog box which we can use to chat with the AI on the AI chat module. We'll create a new component called AI dialog, which will extend the AI chat component. In the setup method of AI dialog, We'll declare that we're using the AI chat service and initialize state variables to track whether we're in streaming mode or batch mode and if we're waiting for an AI response. When a user wants to send a message to the AI, we'll update the component state, which will update the visual cue on the assistant avatar. Then, we'll send the message using the AI chat service. On the AI dialog template, We'll set up the AI chat component along with other visual elements, such as the checkbox for choosing the chat mode and the reset button. To trigger the dialog, we'll create a button and put it in the sys tray similar to the AI chat from our previous experiment. The difference is that we need to provide the props for the AI dialog. Now, let's update the sidebar from our previous experiment with our new chat component. 
Since there wasn't a previous implementation for the sidebar, we'll create an abstract component for the sidebar. This way, the AI chat and AI doc modules can implement the sidebar with only the communication with the server part. The abstract sidebar component will extend the AI chat container, but it will focus on the user interface part such as setting up the initial width and handling mouse events for resizing. This way, we can focus on the communication with the server part when using it, similar with the AI dialog component. On the AI chat module, we'll re-implement the sidebar by extending the new abstract sidebar. The code is very similar to the AI dialog since they're both using the same AI chat service. We also re-implement the sidebar on the AI doc module with the same steps. And there you have it, a custom chat component for AI bot with Odoo Web Framework. Although far from perfect, with this video we've explored the key steps in creating a chat user interface for your Odoo AI chatbot. I hope this has given you a good starting point and some inspiration for your own projects. Remember, the possibilities are endless, so keep learning and keep building. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all of my experiments and tutorials.